Welcome everybody to the tortilla house. Tell me guys, you like tortillas? Yeah. 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 Sure. And you know how to do it, right? Nope. Yeah. yeah. What kind of bad Mexicans are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A really bad one. <laughs> Let me guess, you buy it at the store, right? Uh, yeah. Oh my God, don't worry, Ricky, we have a professional tortilla maker, so she will let us know how to make tortillas, okay? Yeah, it's the first step to making tortillas is take all the corn from your cornfield or milpa, okay? Once that you have it, guys, you will start to put in all the grains and you will put it to boil right there into your maya stove. That is called it mix them up. Once that you have it, guys, you are not allowed to add any kind of spice. No salt, no black pepper, no habanero, okay, guys? Because I can see your face is trying to get some spice sauce from a jelly juice or you like spicy, right? Uh, no. No? <laughs> no. Okay, you're the worst Mexican ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No worries. It's on record that I am. <laughs> oops. I, oops. Okay, my friends. So, once that you have it, you will drain all the water very well and you will put it right here and you will need to start the gym routine of the day because you will need to cover inside all the crumb very well right here. And you are a Thanks to this tool, the Mayan ladies were very, very Moscow, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> and the most important, the husbands were really nice and kind with us. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yes. So once you have all the crumb over inside, you will have masa like this one, guys. So the only thing that you will have to do is take a little piece. Make a little bowl okay. and I start to smash and turn, and smash and turn. So, please watch out this Mayan tutorial, my friends. You see, guys? So, once we have our perfect tortilla, my friends, you will put it right there in the comal. And we will need to cook both sides, okay? Once I will have it ready, ma'am, would you like to hold it? No? Oh, Thank you. No more gym for you, ma'am. <laughs> Once I will have it and we put it, we will need to cook both sides, right, guys? So tell me, Mexican question, how do we know that our tortillas are getting ready? When they bubble, my friends, okay, like little pancakes. So, once that you have it ready, my friends, you will need to use your Mayan Tupperware. Ta da! Uh -huh. This, you recognize this is a gore, okay? But for us, it's a leg, my friends. It's a pumpkin, so you will open it up, you will take all the fruit, and you will need to chew it or use it for compost. Because unfortunately, these kind of pumpkins are not eatable. Okay, once that you have it very well cleaned, like this one, my friends, you will let it dry directly at the sun approximately two or three months. Once that you have it ready, this will keep all the tea going for a long, long time. So you don't have to take any kind of microwaves anymore, my friends. Okay, and of course, my friends, if you're in Mexico, it's mandatory that you have to eat. <laughs> tacos! Oh, oh my god, guys! Right here, it's not Taco Bell, okay? <laughs> so, right here, we want to share with you our Sikil pack paste. Thank you. Sikil means pumpkin seed, and pack means tomato. So, practically, guys, that's all the recipe that you need. Okay, to make your Sikil pack paste, my friends, the first thing that you have to do is take your packs, roast it very well on the fire, and once you have it roasted like this one, guys, that you see that almost all the black okay. of your tomato is getting dark, that means that your tomato is getting juicy, okay? Once you have it, you will put it in your mocajete, and you will take your pepitas, that is called a tzikil, you will toast it very well, and you will smash it right here in your stone metate. Once that you have it rounded like this one, my friends, you will put it on the mocajete and finally you will chop chives, you will add it to it. And thanks to this little tool, my friends, we will start to mix in all the ingredients together. And ta-da! We have a very delicious Mayan guacamole. <laughs> and of course, my friends, it doesn't have any kind of avocado and tastes like beans, okay? But you will need to taste it. And of course, my friends, right here. There's something very, very special that I wanted to share with you. This, my friends, it's a miracle. A miracle sauce. Oh, 
<laughs> you know what it's America, my friends? Because this is habanero. So when the people in such a taste in our habanero sauce, they start to speak in Spanish like this. Hey, hey, hey. A chihuahua. So are you ready to taste it? Very good, my friends. Please. Oh, it's not a spicy, man. Don't run away. Don't you get up. Come here. Come here. <laughs> and, man, are you are allergic to gluten? No. You can take, you can take it out. This is 100% pure corn. It doesn't have any kind of flour. So, my friends, come closer. I Yes, you can. Is this corn in your tortillas? Yes. No, thank you. No, 100% pure corn. No. A little bit of water and we uh, smash it. Almost. It's A little, yeah. Very similar. See, the bean. Uh, it's pumpkin seed and tomato. It's like a base. 